Hello friends, welcome to today's machine learning class and in this class we will see the next topic from second unit that is evaluating hypothesis is the motivation. And from the second unit that is the evaluating hypothesis these are the topics will be there and today we will cover this particular topic that is the motivation and in the next class we will see the estimating hypothesis accuracy. Evaluating the accuracy of hypothesis is very important in any machine learning language. In statistical methods for estimating hypothesis accuracy it focus on three questions. The first one is given the observed accuracy of hypothesis over limited sample data. Okay, the sample data size is very limited. Okay, for example, below 30, the size is below 30, then how well does this estimate its accuracy for additional samples? Okay, the, if the sample size is very limited when compared to the entire population and we are doing test on this particular hypothesis, then what about the test on other sample of data? This is the first question. And second question, given one hypothesis outperforms another over some other sample data, how this hypothesis is more accurate in general? Suppose if we perform the hypothesis test on this particular sample data that is sample 1, we will get some hypothesis result. Then the same test will be applied on another sample that is sample 2 on the same population but the result will get different, different hypothesis test. Then how this hypothesis is more accurate in general, isn't it? And next one is when data is limited, when data that is the sample data, when the sample data is limited, what is the best way to use this data? to both learn the hypothesis as well as estimates the accuracy of hypothesis. Okay? So, if the sample data size is very limited, then we cannot use this to learn this hypothesis as well as to perform the accuracy of the hypothesis also. If the limited samples of data that is the sample size is very limited when compared to the entire population that will misrepresent the general distribution of data, right? That is the estimating true accuracy. This is true accuracy from such samples can be misleading, okay? That is the accuracy, that is sample accuracy and the true accuracy will be different when if the sample size is very small. That is in statistical method, this is important. There is a difference between observed accuracy that is the accuracy taken over the samples of available data and the true accuracy that is the accuracy taken from the entire distribution of data. This accuracy will be different when we take the uh, small sample size. Let us see some examples for this. The first one is we try to predict the university exam uh, result of college students. Here the total number of students in a college is 1000 that is the total population is 1000 here and we can take one student per class that is our to sample size is 25. Here the predicting result of this 25 student may not be same as the entire college population that is 1000 students. Okay, Definitely there will be some difference and second one when come to medical treatment the sample size is very limited then the treatment uh, effectiveness will be very much different, right? That is, if there is lack of information, then we cannot provide an effective treatment to the patient. The second importance of evaluating hypothesis is an integral component of many learning methods. Okay, the integral components are important here. We can take decision tree as our example. In that decision tree, we have to do the post pruning to avoid the overfitting and evaluate the impact of possible pruning steps okay, on the accuracy of resulting the decision tree. Okay, before post pruning, we need to evaluate the steps and therefore, it is important to understand the characteristics of likely error. 
in the post pruning in estimating the accuracy of pruned and unpruned trees. Okay. So, while evaluating the hypothesis, the integral component is very important. If the data size is very big, then the accuracy of hypothesis is straightforward. Definitely, we can get the very accurate result. But if the size is very limited, that is, if we get very limited data, then we can face the two difficulties. First one is bias in the estimate and second one is variance in the estimate. Bias in the estimate, okay. Suppose if we are having very limited set of data, if we apply the hypothesis accuracy test on this data, then what will happen? The test will be overfit to the training example, okay. Then we will get the wrong result in this sample itself, okay. The test result will be very much wrong if the size is very limited that is called as bias estimate. Then variance in the estimate. Suppose if we take the smaller test example, the test sample data is very small, then we can correctly estimate this particular sample. But when come to the new population, if we apply the same uh, test on this new population, then definitely both results will be different. Then this is called as variance in the estimate. Up to this we have seen the evaluating hypothesis that is the motivation of evaluating hypothesis and in the next video we will see estimating hypothesis accuracy and for more information please go through your textbook. Thank you.